You ever wonder why it's so hard to stop eating chips and crackers, even when you're already full? Turns out it has nothing to do with your willpower. This study looking at roughly 30,000 adults found something wild. Eating ultra processed foods like chips and crackers was leading to structural changes in the brain. We're talking about actual physical changes. Brain scans show differences in the regions that control hunger, cravings, and reward. Areas like the hypothalamus and the amygdala. In simple terms, junk food was literally rewiring the craving center. And the more the participants ate, the worse it got. But here's the real kicker. These changes weren't just happening in people who were overweight. Even after adjusting for lifestyle and body size, ultra processed foods were still messing with brain chemistry and brain structure. Stuff like emulsifiers and additives, they trigger neuroinflammation and they mess with your neurotransmitters. These foods are designed specifically by scientists to light up your brain's dopamine system like you're sitting on a slot machine. So it's not that you're lacking the willpower to stop eating chips. Your brain is literally being rewired to want more of them. There's no better word for it than a hijacking. And one expert said it best, these foods don't just taste good, they short circuit your brain's ability to say we've had enough. Okay, so if this food is breaking your brain, how can you fight back? Pretty simple, start by eating stuff your brain recognizes. Whole food with minimal processing. The stuff your grandparents would recognize, you literally can't overeat it. And the easiest way to go about this is just to avoid bringing it in your home. Because the scariest part about ultra processed food isn't what it's doing to your weight or your waistline, it's what it's doing to your brain. Because this hijacking, well, it rewires your brain and how you respond to food, but it also trickles into other areas of your life. If that sounds dramatic, good, that's the point. Because the reality is, every battle in your life is first won or lost in your mind. And if you want to achieve optimal health, that starts with reclaiming your brain. And you can't reclaim your brain if you don't cut out these frankenfoods.